Hi, I'm Barry Slade, Chief Operating Officer with Freedom Boat Club. This video is one in our series where we feature some of the awesome boats that we have available in our Freedom Boat Club fleets. Today we're going to be taking a close look at the Cobia 237 Center Console. Center console boats are traditionally seen as fishing boats, but one thing about the Cobia 237 is it does a lot of things well. Let's start and talk about some of the great fishing features on this vessel. First of all, you'll notice you've got an abundance of rod holders. You can actually get more as options, but here we've, we've got four on the backrest, four up high, a couple on the transom, uh, a couple on each side of the boat on the gunnels, and then down, down low here you've got actually more room to store rods gaffs, anything that you might need. Once you get those fish in the boat, we've got a couple of big fish boxes. This one is uh, tremendous. It runs up underneath the deck there. They do have drains. We've got great storage for your tackle. Here, a couple of drawers. When this opens, you have uh, pull-out tackle boxes that you can, you can rig up. Uh, many of our members buy this same tackle box and put their own gear in it and bring them and just leave these at the dock and put their own and really personalize the boat. Uh, there's a, a, a live bait well here. It's right where you want it, easy to get in and out of, uh, high velocity, and uh, of course you have great access to the transom when you're fishing. Um, the other thing that many fishermen appreciate is the recessed hardware along the side of the boat. Here we've got recessed cleats and the handrails, the uh, grab rails, are recessed underneath the deck level, the gunnel level, so that if, you, if you're working a fish, the line does not get tangled in the, uh, the grab rail. And lastly, let me point out that the, uh, the anchor locker is, is very, very large, easy to get into, uh, great, great location to get the anchor in and out, and again, all of your hardware forward is, is recessed and smooth so that you, uh, you're not going to get tangled with the fishing line. If you're leaving early in the morning, the boat's well lit. You've got lights up underneath the uh, the canopy. You actually have a cockpit light back here that uh, illuminates the cockpit. So for those early mornings, you flip a switch. You've actually got a couple of colors that you can uh, uh, use here. A couple of colors of lights. So there's blue and there's white. And of course, this one will give you all the light you need as you're loading your gear. Plenty of room for uh, four or five guys and uh, plenty of room to move about the boat as you've got the fish on. It also is a great cruising boat. Many people like a center console just to take folks around. And one of the things Cobia has done is they've employed a backrest that goes in with the rod holders. Very, very clever. And then a seat that folds out. And this seat will easily deploy. And you can have a couple of people sitting back here. It's, it's nice that that uh, recess is out of the way when you are fishing, but what a great spot. Nice, generous helm seat for two people. You also have a footrest that folds down here. It's a, it's a nice thing to have. And then up forward, you can see we put the cushions out. And you also have a seat right here that faces forward in front of the console. It's got some storage underneath. A couple of people can sit comfortably there. If you're not so serious about fishing, you just want to do some cruising, the Cobia 237 is a great boat for that as well. But there's a lot of other storage on the boat as well. Underneath the helm seat, you have a large area that has your two batteries. Your battery switches are over here on the port side of the helm, helm seat. Very, very easy to access, but some great storage here. Underneath the console itself, there's a small storage area here for personal items like telephones or anything that you might want accessible at the helm. As we move forward, we have this storage area underneath the seat. This is somewhat insulated and does have a drain, so you could fill this up with drinks or other things that you wanted to keep at temperature. I've taken the cushion off of the starboard storage area here, but under both seats, port and starboard, you have a large area that goes up underneath towards the bow locker, um, or the anchor locker, and uh, you can see you've got lots of room in there. And then another index storage area, which is uh, pretty, pretty, pretty good size. I could get in there and just about lay down. It's uh, a really commodious. It also has a drain in it. it. It's gasketed, so it shouldn't get water. But if it does, that water can drain out nicely. And as if that wasn't enough, we move into the console. 
and the entire console area is accessible for large items like life jackets, safety kits, anything that you might want to store and uh, keep out of the way during your, uh, your trip, whether cruising or fishing. So there's tons of room for storing things on the Cobia 237, another reason that we like it for the Freedom Boat Club fleet. So some things that I really, really like about this boat, first of all, the helm is, is extremely well laid out. All of the controls for the captain operating the boat are on the port side within easy access. You've got all your accessory switches over here on the port side. You have a cigarette lighter plug. We call it an accessory switch now. Uh, you can power additional electronics. You can power uh, your charger for your phone, whatever you might need. Um, the tabs. The tab control is extremely simple and straightforward. The, the shift and throttle is digital, so it's very, very precise. It stays right where you put it. Uh, if you're running 2300 RPMs and you go into a turn, it actually will keep you at 2300 RPMs. That's the beauty of the digital system. I like the fact that you can sit, you can stand, and uh, just enjoy being here at the helm. You've got some great wind um, protection behind the windshield, but not so much that you're going to bake out here in the uh, in the sun. And good coverage from the T-top. So uh, just a well laid out boat. Uh, members really enjoy it, and we think you will too. So another great thing that, that I like about this helm setup, Kobe has done a, a great job providing a, a, a steering wheel that's just the right size with an, a steering knob, and this pivots very easily. One of the great things about this is if you're in a tight tight quarters, you can really wrestle the boat around. Uh, as you see, I'm doing here. If you're trying to get in and out of a marina, if you've got current tide, or if you're fighting a fish and you just need some additional maneuverability, it really makes it easy, and uh, it's a great feature that uh, I appreciate on this boat. So that was the Cobia 237. It's got a lot of great features and benefits. If you want to try this boat out for yourself, find your local Cobia dealer on the website, Google boat rentals near you, or head down to the Freedom Boat Club nearest you. At the time of this recording, we've got over 50 of these boats coming into our Southwest Florida Freedom Boat Club fleets. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, or share. And I'll see you next time for another look at one of the boats from the great Freedom Boat Club fleet.